natural hair friend Jess and if you happen to be new we are now friends whether you like it or not yep it's your fault because you decided to click on this video <laughs> I'm just kidding but welcome to my wash day today's wash day is going to be all about learning from your mistakes because I made a lot of them in this video just like this one I was trying to make a TikTok, okay? But sometimes mistakes can be the best way to learn what not to do. Unfortunately for you, I will be making the mistakes for you so you don't have to as I proceed to try to record a TikTok despite almost ruining my phone. <sighs> Ew. Please have turned out right, please. Oh, yes. Yay, it turned out good. Anyways, shall we begin? So, most naturals either wash their hair once a week or once every two weeks. I try to strive for once a week because my hair and scalp feels the best, looks the best, it's easier to manage, and I get less shedding slash breakage when I do it that way. But I would be lying if I told you I don't skip some weeks, which usually happens because I either had a very busy week or I just was being extra lazy and didn't feel like it, which is okay. But it's usually a combination of both. And that is the scenario for today, actually. I haven't washed as in shampooed my hair in about two weeks. I did do a quick co-wash last week, which did help to give my hair and scalp a quick refreshing but that only lasted a few days until my hair and scalp started feeling dry again. So of course I like to focus the shampoo on my scalp, massaging it into my scalp to remove all the dirt and product buildup. Then I'll bring the shampoo to my ends to clean the rest of my hair because the summer does make my hair a lot smellier. And here's me attempting to record some more, but instantly being shut down by my phone. <laughs> that is literally what I get. My phone just died. Are you serious right now? That was a fail. Yeah, you think? Definitely left the shampoo on for way too long. My hair feels super stripped. But it's okay because we're going to deep condition it. Speaking of deep conditioner. Oh, I keep getting out the shower. My floor is all kind of wet. I have to get the olive oil. Okay, so my next step is deep conditioning. Deep, deep conditioning. This has been my go-to drugstore conditioner since the beginning of my natural hair journey because honestly, it has never felt me. And if you don't know by now, hair that is deep conditioned regularly is more manageable, softer, less prone to breakage and frizz, and is able to retain length, which is why deep conditioning is so, so important. And unlike shampoo, you should focus the deep conditioner on your ends, which is the oldest part of our hair. But I kind of just focus it on all of my hair, and then I'll put some extra on my roots as well after. So because I haven't had a proper wash day for two weeks, my hair was pretty dry and it was even more tangled than it was at the beginning of this video because I ended up using way too much shampoo and leaving it on my hair for way too long because I was over there trying to make a dang TikTok. Um, so now my hair really feels stripped of moisture. When your hair is feeling extra dry and tangled, 
that is the best time to pre-poop. Something that I never do, honestly. I told you I was a lazy, <laughs> natural. to my third lesson if your hair is a tangled mess it will probably be in your best interest to detangle your hair in sections which obviously will make detangling a bit easier as well if you're doing it in smaller sections but again I am a what lazy natural so I just decided that I was gonna skip that step and detangle my hair for a longer time than I needed to. So that's just me. <laughs> I wanted to do it the hard way, so. Ooh, girl, you gonna need a trim. Honey, boo. So when I'm feeling extra fancy, AKA when I feel like my hair needs a little extra other than just deep conditioner, I will apply some olive oil. I like to mix olive oil with the Shea Butter Hair Mask because I think it's just a perfect blend, a perfect mix. Um, so I'll just go over, after I applied all the deep conditioner to my hair, then I'll just go over my hair with a little bit of olive oil. Just give it some extra nutrients, you know. I'm gonna just, I'll see you guys when I finish the next side. And then finally, we are done. Wow. This, the feeling of like being done with con deep conditioning is like the most amazing feeling ever. You feel so accomplished. <laughs> so I put this cap on and I let my deep conditioner work its magic for, I think today I did it for maybe about 20 or 30 minutes. Um, and while I was doing that, I decided to shave my hairy armpits, finally, and my hairy other parts of my body. <clears throat> my other, yeah. <laughs> um, because it's been long overdue, so I just decided why not, this is the perfect time to do that. Because any other time, I'm just like, what's the point? It's quarantine, you know? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, look at, me. look at me. Your girl is... Fresh nice and smooth again.
fun with me today. I hope you did. I hope you learned some things. I hope you learned from my mistakes and I hope this was a good experience for you. Whether you were just watching me or actually doing your hair with me, that would be really cool. And as always, let me know if you watched until the end by commenting three drip emojis. You know, the drip, the water emojis. Comment that so I know who watched until the end. I can reply to you and show you all my love and appreciation. I really appreciate those of you who take the time to watch until the end and also take the time to comment and like and subscribe. <laughs> I know it's a lot, but it's all it's all down there so you can get it all done, okay, at once. And then share if you would like to share, you know, this with other people. But anyway, it's okay, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. And um, thanks for joining me on my wash day. Peace out. I was gonna try to rhyme. What rhymes the day? Nothing. Okay, much love. Bye. <laughs>